everyone welcome back to our channel and if you're new here welcome to writing wednesdays where i write a brand new essay in 40 or 30 sometimes even 25 minutes or less today we have a brand new topic let's read this just a second fast food is becoming a part of life everywhere which has bad effects on our lifestyles and diet to what extent do you agree or disagree? Okay, so that's a very straightforward, pretty direct and simple opinion essay. Um, so what I always like to do, as usual, let me get my main ideas out first. Let me just move this table just a sec. All right, so main idea sentences first. Main idea one. Main idea two, so why isn't it typing? Okay, main idea one, then my supporting ideas. Main idea two, and the supporting ideas. There we go. Okay, I agree, it's a big problem. Now I need to think about, and by the way, you can agree or disagree, that's your choice. This is just, you know, what's easiest for me personally. So I would say possibly that, okay, I need to have two reasons why. If you agree, you need to have two reasons why you agree if you disagree you need to have two reasons why you disagree so that's what you need to do um so when you you know choose a side just be careful you should choose a side where it's easy for you to you know get enough content basically right okay so i i agree yes it's got negative impacts on our lifestyle and diet I mean, here it's actually even kind of straightforward because you can see here they say it has bad effects on our lifestyles and diet. You can kind of take that as your main idea. You know, fast food negatively impacts people's lifestyles. It also has, uh, you know, it also causes major health problems. And there you go. You have your very simple main idea sentences, but I don't want to keep it that simple. <laughs> I want to challenge myself to do something a little bit different. So, um, okay, what's the problem with fast food? Um, okay, they are, okay, let me think of like, why is that such a bad thing? Uh, it's easy, but deadly, basically. Or you can just say the prevalence, the prevalence of fast food has rapidly caused uh, an increase in the incidence of major health issues. Okay, um, fast food is also responsible for the one problem is for another another problem that i see is a lot of um traditional diets and you know recipes and things like that they are dying out um and you know like food like all around the world is starting to become more and more similar you know a culture is so closely tied to a lot of things its language its food its customs etc so i think also that because i mean you go anywhere in the world you'll find a burger right you go anywhere in the world you'll find pizzas right things like that i mean there's it, it just becomes a normal part of people's diet and so they lose because again um depending on where you live you need a different diet the kind of diet that a person who lives you know around the arctic circle you know people who live near the arctic circle they eat reindeer meat they eat a lot of fish they also eat whale meat now let's not debate the ethics of this because again this is what's available right but people who live in tropical lands where there's you know lots of rain and lots of vegetation lots of uh, farmland they are more likely to of course because they have easy access to vegetables and fruits and stuff like that but let's say you go and try and buy buy pineapples in um let's say okay greenland you won't find them or they'll be super expensive right so this is causing i think a lot of cultures to lose touch with their traditional practices that could be an idea 
or maybe also that um, food is basically the same everywhere nowadays. Something like that, possibly. Responsible for many cultures, uh, many traditional. I'm typing, but it's not showing up. Why is that? Okay. For um, traditional cultures, traditional food cultures to be slowly wiped out. Now, I might change the main idea. Let me just think of some 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 uh, content real quick. Um, you know, basic food all over the world is getting to be very similar. That's my one concern. Uh, some food practices are being lost. People are losing these skills. Um, also, it can negatively impact uh, agriculture and biodiversity if more and more, you know, non-native plants, etc. are grown. Because, of course, let's take McDonald's. McDonald's is everywhere in the world. But the potatoes that they use in America are not the same potatoes that they use in Japan, for example, right? They have to grow that plant in the country. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. Food, if you had to import all these fruits and vegetables, that would be crazy expensive. But that's the problem. If the plant is non-native, it can actually cause a lot of issues. So I think these are good ideas. Maybe I could, I don't know, it seems decent. I don't think uh, it's bad. I, mean, I don't know, I get the feeling that maybe I could change the ideas. Um, really, there's nothing wrong, but I keep thinking maybe I should change the ideas. Such food is responsible for traditional cultures. Uh, for, oh, such food is also responsible for traditional food cultures being slowly wiped out. I think that makes sense. Um, and, you know, uh, every place has its own kind of benefits in agriculture. Like maybe you can grow pineapples in Hawaii or something, right? But you wouldn't be able to grow pineapples in, in Greenland, right? But, I mean, if you're essentially forced to because of the popularity, you know, of fast food, that's you're taking land away from, you know, the native um, <clears throat> fruits and vegetables. And that's going to be a major problem. So maybe something like that. I don't know. I get the feeling that, I mean, it's a good idea. But should I change the main idea and the supporting ideas? I don't know. I I, I can remember I was thinking of some other idea, but I just, I just slipped my mind. You know, when I was explaining something about, hmm, wait, let me think. Okay, fast food diets are always the same. Oh, it causes issues. No, we've talked about health issues. Okay, that's main idea number one. Gosh, the idea was in my mind and it just just went, it just slipped. Uh, anyway, I think I'll just continue with this. It's good enough, nothing wrong. I just thought that I had a better idea. But that's what happens, right? You keep chasing that, oh no, I just had that idea, I just had that idea. And then you waste time in the exam. <laughs> so you don't want to do that. Okay. Um, less homemade food. Um... Or, you know, um, yeah, that can actually even be an idea. Anyway, let's home my food. No control over what a restaurant uses or even, you know, processed. You don't, you don't have any control over the ingredients. I mean, a restaurant might tell you, um, oh, we use, you know, pure olive oil. But who's going to check? They could be using anything. You don't have any control. And uh, increase in seed oils, uh, decrease in, you know, natural fats, more heart attacks, diabetes, etc. Um, also, um, lots of, you know, um, they use preservatives, cause cancer. You know, if you ate something traditional or normal like an actual meal instead of just you know something like a burger or whatever if you ate real fruit real vegetables actual meat you drank milk you ate butter there's no preservatives in that stuff maybe there are a few you know if you buy it from the store but 
that's a minimum. But if you eat chips, for example, uh, or let's take a McDonald's burger, almost everybody knows that, you know, there was this viral image where this one person stored their burger in plastic, I think, and it was the same even after years and years. So they, of course, they cause cancer, all kinds of cancers. And, you know, that's like everybody knows that it's common knowledge. So I've got that and now I need to write my introduction. So, I mean, this is a very common topic. I'm sure you would not really struggle with writing something about uh, fast food. I mean, essentially, you could say something like um, it is nearly impossible to imagine a life in this in the modern world without um that's food and processed food which have made lives uh very convenient but at a major cost to people's um well-being right and then i have to express my opinion um it is um let's say it is necessary for people to understand the detrimental effects before it is too late. There we go. There's my introduction. There you go. 50 words. You know, introductions don't have to be long. They don't have to be detailed. In fact, I was just teaching introductions today to one of my students, Ronak. Um, and I said the same thing, introductions, you keep it short and simple, no content that's too much info, uh, no examples, no details, no justification, none of that, that has no place in an introduction. <clears throat> also, um, paraphrasing, paraphrasing is something you'll see other people, other teachers on YouTube, they tell you, oh, you should just copy the question and change a few words. Now, that is one of the worst things you can do, because the second that the examiner sees that you have basically copied the question and changed a couple words, they have a very negative impression of your skills. So don't do that. All right. OK, so I've got this and then there we go. Um, also, you need to check your ideas, see if the arrangement is OK. Uh, I think this is good. Pretty good. Um, fast food is application to make health issues. <clears throat> The biggest concern here um, lies with the fact that when food is um, cooked by someone else or processed in a factory, the end user has no control over the process or the ingredients used. And companies can and do lie about their um, content, about the content of such food. There you go. Uh, cooked in a restaurant when, you know, uh, prepare. Okay, maybe I'll say in a restaurant or factory, the end user has no control. Um, over the uh, process or the ingredients used. <clears throat> Can I do live by the content of such food? Um, because after all, their goal is to be profitable, not to make people healthy. There we go. <laughs> A little bit of snark. <laughs> Increase in seed oils. Um, uh, another cause for concern lies with the um, lies with the use of um, let's say um, seed oils and artificial um, seed oils, comma artificial dyes. Um, what else? What else? You've got, um, what natural fats. Okay. Another cause for concern lies with the use of seed oils, artificial dyes. Um, okay. What else does it help? Okay. Okay. Um, margarine. Uh, well, that's a seed oil. Artificial dye with the use of, um, ingredients such as, oh yeah. Artificial dyes and genetically modified 
um, <clears throat> uh, ingredients. I don't want to use ingredients again and again and again and again. That's so annoying to read. And genetically modified crops. Um, instead of natural fats, healthy um, milks and... Um, Ooh, uh, what's that thing called? Fructose, high fructose, corn syrup, stuff like that. But I think that's too much. Genetically modified, I think that covers it. <laughs> Instead of natural fats, healthy milks and um, organic fruits and vegetables, organic meat. Meat such as seed oils, artificial dyes, and genetically modified crops and natural uh in such products which have led to uh, a massive unprecedented increase uh in the um number of cardiac arrests diabetes and hypertension in most nations across the world Additionally, uh, such food also requires the use of strong preservatives, uh, some of which are even banned in certain regions, such as the European Union. Of course, it's not banned everywhere. You might read like, oh, there's this um, E571 something. You know, when you read the back label, the nutritional label of something, just go to the store next time and just look at the back. They give you a list of ingredients and, you know, it starts out like, oh, palm oil and flour and whatever, whatever. And at the end, they always have, oh, natural colors and uh, E71 and, and potassium bromate or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, and when you look it up online, you find that, oh, everybody uses this, um, you know, E71 or whatever, thingamajig, uh, <laughs> to preserve the item. Uh, you know, it's, it, isn't, it, isn't it surprising? Buy an apple and leave it on your dining table for 10 days. It'll go bad. It'll go bad. You can't eat it. There'll be worms in it, you know. It'll have mold, worms. It'll be like foaming and everything. But you buy a packet of biscuits. It lasts for two three years nothing happens and you're putting that in your body like my god that's crazy anyway <clears throat> so you read online and you find out oh this is allowed everywhere in the world but oh it's banned in the european union and yet the entire world still uses it crazy okay anyway such food also sorry if you hear any strange sounds because sometimes when i move my mic also moves and then it captures this you know this kind of <laughs> sound anyway let me get back to what i was doing uh, additionally such food also requires the use of strong preservatives some of which are even banned in certain regions um okay such food also requires the use of strong preservatives as they have been proven to cause cancer i'm typing but it's not showing uh, okay, again, I'll have to think. Strong preservatives, which have been proven to cause cancers of all types in animal and human bodies. I mean, it's a recipe for disaster. <laughs> Thus, there is a clear connection. consumption of fast food and poor health there we go that's my first paragraph looks quite big it's 188 words crazy okay but you know that's completely normal for me if you've been watching my videos anyway you know i just had to like uh it's something like 5 a.m right now and so 11 30 i was uh, i had some homework to do because I'm, I'm doing german lessons and so the teacher had given us some homework write a letter to your friend basically uh and i think that was uh, you know most people will just write like maybe 70 words 100 words max 
Mine was, and I didn't even have to think much while writing. Same thing, different language, but same thing. I was just typing, typing, typing. I'm, oh my God, I have so much to say. I have so little time because I always do things when the deadline is like half an hour away. Um, <laughs> so, and I checked my word count. It was 288, a letter, 288 words in just like, and I got really distracted also. So I probably did the whole thing in like 20 minutes. But that, that's... <laughs> That's just how it is. That's why I love doing these essays. It's a lot of fun and it also doesn't take much time. But, you know, I also want to show you that you too can do something like this. It's just a question of, you know, um, practice, I would say. Because if you look at these videos, <clears throat> I've been doing these for about two years now. If you have a look at my very uh, first videos, you'll see that I used to take a lot more time. Um, I used to take like 40 minutes, 45, sometimes even one hour, but then I'd be talking a lot and explaining a lot of things, um, which I still do. I mean, I'm still, you know, like talking right now off topic. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, it, it's just practice really. Um, and I would say you could probably do the same thing in your native language, right? Because you have such, you know, a level of comfort with it. Um, but yeah, okay, so getting back to the topic, such food is also responsible for traditional cultures being slowly wiped out. Mm, okay, where are the ideas? Basic food, some practices, negatively impact them. Okay, great. Right. Um, this popularity... Um, oops. Its popularity has caused um, meals almost all over the world to largely resemble, to largely be similar. Eggs for breakfast, a burger for lunch, a cappuccino to go. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Okay, well, there's nothing wrong with eggs. Um, you know, I'm just giving an example. Eggs are easy for breakfast, a burger for lunch, a cappuccino, a Subway for breakfast. Maybe that, that sounds better, doesn't it? A uh, Subway. And S is capitalized because Subway is a, you know, branch, a franchise. So, <clears throat> for breakfast, burger for lunch, cappuccino to go, you know. Um, and so, what was my point? Um which has caused the um, knowledge of traditional uh, uh, food uh, knowledge from food practices and recipes to slowly become uh, unpopular and even forgotten. Oh, whoops! Ah, that was my second idea. Okay, what I'll just leave some space here <clears throat> okay its popularity has caused meals almost all over the world <clears throat> no matter uh, regardless <clears throat> of whether one finds oneself in um work or in um give me a city's name some in i don't know uh okay maybe i'll just pick um these are huge cities maybe i should pick smaller cities okay you know what i'll do that uh but you know it's fine it's just uh, i shouldn't nitpick i, I have a bad habit <laughs> uh, yeah i mean you know i mean i'm sure that China has its own traditional food practices. And yet, ask any normal, like, you know, 20 to 40 year old who lives in a big city. It's like, you know, if you live in a big city and you're like, you know, in this age range, I would say 15 to 45, actually, you know, their habits are kind of the same. A cereal for breakfast and, you know, a burger or, you know, an espresso for, for well, espresso is technically... Well, okay, well, <laughs> let's not get into specifics, but it basically mean that, you know, since it's so popular, that's what people tend to, you know, consume. Maybe, 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 maybe you know, McDonald's for takeaway. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, this, in turn, has caused knowledge of food practices and recipes have slowly become unpopular, undesirable, you know, uh, unfashionable. 
and even forgot because people tend to tend to feel like that oh this is more modern you know getting a subway is you know a lot more desirable than maybe eating some kind of cabbage salad maybe you know especially for younger people since they're so easy to you know influence right um right okay so and then my last idea it's very small i need to uh make it bigger so forgotten uh which leads to a vicious cycle uh you know inducing increased dependence on processed and fast food oh why okay wait and the last idea uh, negatively impact agriculture and biodiversity um, and so uh simultaneously local agriculture um and native biodiversity are also negatively impacted because the ingredients needed for such products need to be uh, be be grown locally which can you know uh, obviously if you want if you want to grow crops if i want to grow let's say bell peppers right and my existing you know farm just grows potatoes of course then i'll have to reduce you know my output of potatoes right so simultaneously local agriculture and by native biodiversity also negatively impacted because the ingredients needed for such products need to be grown locally uh which can um decrease uh, the output of um local crops <clears throat> making them um well obviously if you have less than that's you know making them uh may, let's see increasing hmm not only um making them more expensive but also um ooh, you know for example bees often come to plants right but if you you know plants also attract certain pests right uh and like for example you know in Aust australia and other such places you can't bring any food items they have to be thrown because if you bring a food item and you know a worm grows in it or you know the seed falls somewhere then it can it's an invasive yes invasive that's the word i was looking for but also possibly okay i'm getting out of like i'm getting like ooh, out of control okay local agriculture welcome which can um, not only decrease the output of local crops but possibly also um, harm them due to other invasive species being planted there we go and make <laughs> them more expensive make them expensive and possibly make them expensive because that yeah, would also but oh, also harm them due to other invasives being planted wait and finally um uh fast food cultures being wiped out okay Prevalence of such modern food varieties um, will cause harm to local practices and crops. There we go. Done. That's also relatively hefty. Just make this bold. Oh, this text should actually be a different font. Uh, okay, well, um, then my conclusion in conclusion it is evident that um, is a major um pain for almost all people and um their countries due to its um 
uh, let's say far far ranging repression uh, oops on health and local um practices cultures customs uh, there we go if um this trend is not averted um the um the incidence of poor health and um lack of cultural um cultural um uh, the incidence of poor health and increase in cultural degradation will only increase there we go okay done 48 words let's see the total this is about 440 okay now what i'll do is i'll just uh, highlight this so you can see that's the introduction you can click on pause on the screen to read it then we've got the first body paragraph. Then we've got the next body paragraph. And then we've got the conclusion. There we go. Okay, so that's that for today's essay. Leave a comment down below if you want to, you know, share any info or if you have any suggestions and if you haven't already please like the video it really helps us and if you haven't already subscribed please do so because we have lots of good stuff planned of course we have you know the essays and the letters not the letters actually we have um the speaking tests but we have a lot more planned uh, we have these five minute essays as well for those of you that cannot watch the entire half an hour 40 minute videos um, and we're also planning to launch content for the syllabus exam uh, let me know if you want me to also write letters i think we could do that i think maybe i could do letters on tuesday and essays on wednesday what do you think about it let me know um i think that could be a good idea only if you find it helpful of course so yeah just drop a comment down below if you have any questions concerns comments feedback i'm here for it until then bye bye